Hello, I'm Ellen. I'm here at Purple Valley. I'm teaching a course here for two weeks on Ashtanga Yoga, Buddhist philosophy and meditation. So today we're gonna focus on some uh, poses from the Ashtanga series. So we're gonna mainly focus on uh, jumping through and jumping back. So, the first thing I want to talk about is jumping through or jumping forward. So, the issue with this is really about uh, trusting your arms, taking weight on your arms. That's what's challenging for most people. So, um, if we look at the position of the arms, they need to be protracted and extended. Yeah? So, in a downward dog, It looks something like this, so rather than pushing my chest out, I'm lengthening and I'm protracting my shoulder blades, meaning turning the armpits towards each other. As I'm jumping forward, I'm also, I'm also making a point of lifting my heels up, so I'm sucking my tummy up, and I suck my legs into the sockets, so that when I jump forward, the legs will really follow. Okay, so. so as we as we learn to float forward, we can extend that so we can actually also jump through. So once we have once we're over that fear of being on the arms, we can just hang there a little longer. So let's see. So we And then we come to this basic position and from here I could cross my legs or I could straighten my legs and I could come through. Yeah? So, we might want to practice this and there are several ways we can practice taking weight on the arms. So one favorite of mine is what I call the monkey pose. This is very simple and it's kind of fun. So you just get up and you just sit down like a monkey. Then you inhale, shoulders forward in front of the hands and you push right back. You inhale, shoulders come over the hands and you come back. Inhale and exhale. Then the next step, you just take your feet off. Now you can practice the monkey with a partner if you feel a little nervous about it. So I can have I can have Sona to help me. So you'll just do the monkey pose. And I'm just gonna secure her hips here. Yeah, so inhale. Good. And finish. Okay. So, what is really important here is to be friendly with the floor. So you need to land on the floor like a swan lands on water, rather than pushing into the floor. So we see sometimes when people want to go in to take weight on the hand, it's kind of hitting the floor and it's not really working. So you need to rather, as if you were taking your pants off, slide, and back, slide, and back, slide, and back, yeah, into the floor, yeah. So building up to jump through, how do we do it? So actually the hard part of jumping through is the last part, it's the braking, when you have to put the brakes on, when you have to get through. So we can, sometimes we see this happening. Yeah, some kind of, I don't have any elevation and I can't kind of land on my, on my tailbone because the arms collapses too early. So a better way would be working on the actual actual um, strength in the in the abdomen so you would you could rather 
come close. So this is the part where you're challenged, yeah? You have to keep your arms long, you have to pull up on your bandha and you could walk through slowly. Yeah, so don't give up when the going gets tough. This is where most people give up and they sit down, yeah? That's where you really have to engage also the top part of the back to have enough space to come through. Just let the legs through, resist, 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 and come through, yeah? You can also take a pair of blocks if you need more elevation. And you can jump and get that extra lift. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Okay, do so you want to try jumping through with blocks? So you can just jump forward and land here, cross your legs. And slowly take the knees through and down. Yeah, good. Yeah. Great. Right. 